Happy Mercedesing. Welcome to another video. In this video, I will be speaking about something I've promised one uh, subscriber from uh, Turkey. Well, it is about uh, vacuums and how to connect properly the vacuum lines. This, what you're going to see, is going to be on the example of uh, the M102 engine. But this, what I'm going to show you, is going to be something else. This now led me into a completely different direction to speak about something, some parts, there are some parts I haven't been speaking about at all. This is also going to be a story about uh, the vapor system and how it functions. So, let's go to that video. Shall we? The whole system consists of the thermo valve, throttle body, purge valve, charcoal canister, diaphragm, breather valve. We need fuel evaporation system in order to decrease fuel vapors to get into the atmosphere. Remember, vapors are extremely flammable. In order to achieve this, fuel vapors have to be stored into the charcoal canister from the fuel tank. Our fuel tank is here, and the vapors have to be stored here. This is achieved with help of vacuum in the intake manifold through the purge valve and the throttle housing in order for the vapors to be combusted in the engine. Yes, but not always, depending on the engine load. This means that if the coolant temperature is under 50 degrees C, in fact 70, there will be no suction because the purge valve is closed and if the throttle body is fully closed. Breather valve. As soon as in the fuel tank the pressure between 30 and 50 millibar is created, the breather valve opens and fuel vapors flow to the charcoal canister. If vacuum between 1 and 16 millibar is created in the fuel tank, the breather valve opens. That way fuel vapors are sucked in, in through the charcoal canister while the engine is running at the temperature higher than 70 degrees C as the throttle body is slightly open vacuum is being created through the thermal valve to the purge valve if the throttle is being further deflected the suction is being created. This way, vapors in the charcoal canister are sucked in the combustion chamber. This way, the canister regenerates itself. Here, we can see the arrows on this path. Let's say it like that. The vapors flow here from the tank and they are stored into the charcoal canister. From there, they go to the purge valve. But if the temperature is lower than 70 degrees C, they get back to the canister and are being stored there so to speak once the purge valve opens the vapors flow 
the words the throttle body and their being sucked into the intake manifold so this is how everything looks like in the engine here we have the thermal valve this one here and according to the diagram this one with a black stripe goes to this one here on the throttle housing. The one which is labeled on the diagram as black on my car it is black and white. That one goes from the purge valve into this one and this one which is on the diagram labeled as violet uh, black uh, white goes from here and it ends up in the purge valve as well here that's this one this one here leads to the element uh, 52 and that's the charcoal canister the charcoal canister is on W124 located approximately here. Concerning uh, the M102 engines, that's how it is. And concerning uh, the M103 engines, the principle is the same, just uh, the throttle body is not the same. It's a bit different uh, on M103 engines. These lines are different. As we can see, this is how it looks like uh, on M103 engines. We have uh, the line A and line B. The line A goes to the thermal valve and the line B goes to the purge valve for the evaporation system. And here we have uh, the throttle body uh, for R129 with uh, the engine M103. Its throttle body has three lines. And as we can see, the line A goes to the purge valve, line B is uh, the line for the purge valve, and we have line C, which goes to the EGR valve. And we have, of course, uh, different uh, types of uh, throttle bodies for 190E, the location of uh, the charcoal canister is different for W126 and that would be it.